Hello and welcome back to Life Lessons with Sheila and welcome to a new Sims 4 Alphabet Build Challenge. Today we're doing the letter X. We're almost to the end. If you do not know, um, I originally saw this challenge on Dr. Ashley's channel. I will link hers in the description box below. But you guys voted for X and this is the results. Building the X was not as hard as um, it seems to be as I'm doing it because I did not speed this one up. I wanted you to see it in full detail just because it was easy, a very easy letter to do. It came out for an interesting build which you'll see in a second, but I wanted to explain what exennial meant. Exennial is an adjective that means relating to hospitality or the relationship between a host and a guest. It can also refer to the relationship between people from different cities, especially among the ancient Greeks. The word comes from the Greek words exenius and exennial, where exenius means guest. Synonyms of exennial include hospitable, friendly, warm, and welcoming. And I hope that the build that you're going to see shows that. Um, unfortunately, my computer did not I recorded it as I did it as usual, but my computer also kind of froze towards the end and then it did not save the video, unfortunately. So I went in and kind of did a tour to show you how it turns out. Um, I will tell you, I kind of turned it into a kind of an Airbnb hotel kind of thing with two rooms, two guest rooms with two bathrooms. Um, an entertainment area and a kitchen as well as a pool in the backyard area so I kind of did a little bit more on the outside than I normally do with these builds as you can see I kind of struggled there for a second <laughs> why I don't know but I did it happened this was an interesting build though. I think I would do something like this again, just to do it. Especially if I was gonna get the for rent pack to rent out those rooms. Um, Cause it kind of put everyone in their own wing. It was kind of interesting. You'll see. I first had it up on a little foundation. I did not realize that she would need steps to get in, so I have to lower it. You'll see. <laughs> <The Ruffy. laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> they're so sassy sometimes. I could have put in little steps and stuff, but I didn't want to mess with that. 
I just lowered it. And of course doing that took some of the plants away and some of the chairs inside away. You'll see me replace those. Inside here, you're looking at the entryway. Um, that's where I would assume a, a host would be at her desk um, to take reservations and to welcome guests. There are the mailboxes, one for each room and one for the office itself. And then for some reason, she cannot get through this door. I don't know why. She couldn't actually Lamita. move from that area where she was at, which was odd to me. Uh. <laughs> so we're going to ignore her. She was going to be our tour guide, but not anymore. <laughs> so this first room, I imagine, would be for like two college kids. You're going to see me fiddle with the door here for a second. Um, I was hoping to fix it where she would go in, but there was nothing wrong. So I don't know what the deal was. Anyway. That first room has two twin beds, as you see. I figured it would be just a little, a room for college kids to come who are going to go see a concert on tour or, um, you know, just to visit, just to get away. That should have fixed it, but it's not for some weird reason. Uh, Yefana? So I ignored her. <laughs> the bathroom does not have a sink. I realized that there was no room to add the sink in there. So, um, you're just gonna have to wash your hands in the shower. <laughs> I know, gross, but I did what I could with the space I had. I love those beds with the little, uh, with the Lamina. curtains on them. So that is that room. That's for two guests. I realize the curtains disappeared on the other window. That happens from time to time. Just simple black lace curtains. I did not put any behind that desk. I should have, but whatever. And then you're going to come out, and you're going to see kind of a kind of a, a a a rest area, I guess, with the TV and the gaming system. I was going to come back and put artwork on the walls too. I forgot to do that. Oh well. And we're going to ignore the green plants sticking through the wall. <laughs> That's when I realized she's stuck and she's not going to be able to move through there. So uh, we're going to leave her Yafana? there. <laughs> Go away, sassy. <laughs> this is an entertainment area. I put chess and two card tables, which the chairs disappeared. So the chairs disappeared. You're going to see me replace them. Just an entertainment area. You've got a an easel and a keyboard and some instruments. And then you have a pool area in the back. But there is the dining room. More chairs and tables than needed, but that's okay. Then you go into your kitchen area, as well as backyard has a grill. And then you have like a honeymoon suite. 
kind of adjacent area. But the bathroom that does have a sink <laughs> and a tub and a bed, a full size bed. that I would use the same light in the whole home or the whole area just because it makes it a little cohesive and that my friends is the home of X Xennial. I figured it would be a hospitable place to welcome your guests, um, whether they come near or far. You could accommodate a whole family if you wanted to, or two separate guest areas. Of course, you've got the pool and the lounge chairs and the table outside. <laughs> And of course, that's when I realized she really is stuck there. She can't go anywhere. I think she can maybe leave. That's about it. Sorry, lady. You're stuck. <laughs> and that is today's build. I thank you guys for hanging out with me. Next week is why. So put your suggestions down below on what you think why should be. And we will put it for a vote early next week. Thanks for joining me. I missed you guys last week. Uh, as it was Easter weekend, so did not post a build. Was it Easter weekend last weekend? I don't remember. I think so. I don't remember. Maybe I did do a build last week. It was the week before. Anyway, any hoozle. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and we will do um, why next week. I'll see you guys then. Bye.